So I think like the normal LCS day is basically He's good. Yeah. Okay, he's good. Yeah. Have you showered? Yeah, dude. You showered? Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, Uber's two minutes away. Yeah. Two minutes. Seven W Y T. Okay. And then we go on stage. So that's the typical day. I'm Michael Archeris. I am the manager for Team Liquid's League of Legends team. My day is like not really like typical day to day. Anything and everything can happen in between. Usually I'll come in in the morning with Kane and Dodo and have our morning meeting. That's the only consistent thing that we have. And then I go to my computer and I'll answer emails, get caught up on Slack messages, get everything on the business side of things taken care of, worry about other projects, stay and listen in on scrims and kind of see if there's anything going on that I should be worried about. Making sure that Dodo and Kane are like sticking to the things that they're saying that they're gonna to stick to. Making sure that we're making a plan, meeting with different staff members, making sure the players are on time, make sure that they're clean, plan out social drives, plan or... out further events. So like I, I do a lot of different things so it's kind of hard to just say that this is like one thing do you want to catch me peeing as well I don't really get much time to play league anymore though so it's like that was one of my biggest passions was like always playing games and then uh, when you get put into like a role like this you just have to like sacrifice all that for responsibility for the most part like I, there's people that definitely are able to balance it but Kudos to them, I can't, haven't figured it out yet. Wait, today is, this is like my culture special. He's a jokester, he likes to play jokes on people. A little goofy guy. I think he's a teacher of me, you know? Like he taught me a lot of sarcasm. In only time I didn't understand his way. Like, Ole, we cannot do this. I was like, why, why, what happened? And then he said, oh, this is American joke. But because of him, Whenever some American try the sarcasm to me, I was like, huh, I know that's joke. Fans think of managers as just like cogs in the machine that are just like there and they oversee things and maybe they help. I, I worked with a lot of managers like him who their job's really stressful, so they're always running from like darting from place to place and they take away the stress of the, the little things. Almost things unrelated to the game that if we had to deal with without Archeris, then we would be distracted. So I didn't really get to see him too much, but I kind of understood and I empathize with him that his job really is hard, and sometimes it really sucks. He is a kind kid, I think. Actually, now I remember. When I was sad or some depressed between scream time, I went outside by myself and Arthur just came up with me and yeah, we just did talk about how I feel. That was a really good part. I think I appreciate what he did to me at the time. Yeah, now like I don't really have some mental problem or some issue, so he doesn't really need to talk with me. But yeah, when I was in, uh, in trouble, he was there for me. Yeah, I appreciate the time.
Yeah, he's got a lot of things going on, but really he's just a closet nerd. Yeah, Uber's two minutes away. They're super fun. I haven't played in like, probably in like five, six years now. Oh. Yeah. I told you I was so good at this. How'd you guess that? It's obviously a hamburger. You can tell just by looking at it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, that's easy. They all left. They all grabbed their mouse pads. It's all your. Um, it's tucked into my pants. Oh gosh. I believe you. Go for it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. He's good. By the way, Yeah, it's in that room. Did you already eat? I mean, did you already do makeup? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go eat. Impact. This is something that every team manager has to do. You can tell the noob managers from the ones that have been around a while from two things. One, when they get the hot hands, and two, what they do with them after. Well, you'll see. These people will take them and they'll just like shake them and they just hold there and shake them. That doesn't work that well. The secret to getting these fast, hot, and ready, put them in your back pockets. And just walk around a little bit. Ole! Gotcha! He always goes into the girls' bathrooms. So it's like really awkward because there may actually be women in there. So I have to like turn my back and like yell into the bathroom. Well, now I learned. Now I learned, and it's, now it's even better. Now I can use that. Just come over. Cough drops. You go. Good luck. Huh? No, just come over the room if you want one. Welcome to the Battle Arena, the final week of the regular season for the North American LCS. It's Team Liquid versus Echo Fox here on stage. I am Freak. To my right is Azale. How you doing? I'm doing great, man. Uh, this is going to be a good one. Playoff buys on the line. Here comes the actual team fight as the rest of the team joins in. Meganar is there, a giant stun! And they got one kill plus a revive, but Tom Kench is dead, and Hooney's gonna fall as well. Two for zero, Liquid wants some more. They're gonna get a trade kill back, though. The trade-up fight is not gonna be enough. Liquid absolutely slaughter everyone as Dardock falls, and it's a fight one, five to two. Ten seconds on the bottom lane to somehow win a 3v4. They're going for the kill on Demonte. He's putting out the bombs that he can. He's still got the ultimate as well. It's all down to time. Tom Kench up in three seconds, but they're on to the Nexus. Liquid gonna secure the first place seed in the playoffs as they knock down the kill and they knock down the Nexus. Um, not really. <laughs> All right, well, you put, take on TSM tomorrow. They have no effect on your standings, I guess, but what do you think of TSM split so far? Uh, looking pretty boosted. I, I don't know if they're gonna, if they're gonna make it, but uh, I'm really glad I'm not in their shoes, you know? I've been there, and I don't want to be there again. He knocks Bjergsen away, but he's still sent to the grave! The Lamb's respite will not be there in time! Team Liquid is done, and TSM are going to playoffs!
double lift called the boosted. Bjergsen said he would let the gameplay do the talking. 14, one and five. Well, yeah, I think, uh, no, I have to watch too. Uh, okay, you're just doing this because like we think we're strong right now. We're just, just flexing on the game punish. Well, we got first place. We had some games that we shouldn't have lost. We still have a lot to learn, and there's a lot of teams that are like resurging right now. At the end of the split, it was really close actually. From like third place to sixth place, there's a four-way tie right now. So. Thank God that we got a buy and that we got first place. Yeah, the league's really crazy this split, I gotta say. TSM barely making playoffs while still being a strong team is a huge indication of anyone could win and the teams we send to Worlds are gonna be really good. I've been to Worlds three times in a row and each time I was one game away from making United groups. I just want to avoid this ending. I want to really smash our way through groups and be a really strong team at quarters, win that, take it step by step after that semis and hopefully make the finals and win that. I know like it's a pipe dream for an American team to do that, but I've been so close so many times. It's just one game that made the difference every time. There were some goals that I had set for this team going into the 2018 season before we even had the roster. Big things that we wanted to do is make sure that the roster stayed the same throughout the whole entire year. When we got the roster, obviously the goal is to get to Worlds because Team Liquid has never made it to Worlds. They were almost there a few years back and it's like everyone's goal to get there. Right now, everything is like, I think running very smoothly. It's just making sure that everything's fine tuned uh, and that we're not getting complacent. We have the, go the goal of Worlds in mind because people forget. People are like, oh, I'm just an NALCS. But they don't think about long-term, like, oh, I'm gonna be playing against these teams later on. And we've been like reiterating that a lot throughout this summer split. Like, hey, we should be thinking about Worlds as well, you know? There's a good possibility we could go. So it's just constantly having that reminder, like poking the guys to be like, hey, focus, you know? It's a big thing. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, I don't know if the guys are still reviewing right now. If they are reviewing, then maybe another 15 minutes if I had to guess.